Hey there, viewers. It's no secret veggies are great for your health. After all, they're loaded with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. If you're trying to lose weight, there are low-carb veggies you should be eating. In today's video, we'll be discussing 17 vegetables that have the least carbs. Bell peppers and broccoli are super nutritious, but are they low in calories? What about spinach and cauliflower? Why are avocados and tomatoes on this list? We'll be talking about all these and more. Number 1. Bell Peppers Bell peppers are rich in nutrients. They have carotenoids, an antioxidant that can help reduce inflammation and decrease the risk of oxidative stress. A cup of chopped red bell peppers weighing around 149 grams comes with just 9 grams of carbs. 3 grams of those are actually fiber. They also give you 93% of the vitamin A your body requires daily and as much as 317% of the vitamin C you need. The best part about bell peppers is they're incredibly easy to sneak into your diet. You can add them to your salad or throw them in with spaghetti and pasta. They taste good grilled as well. What is your favorite way to eat bell peppers? Which one do you enjoy the most? Red, green, or yellow? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Broccoli Broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable packed with nutrients. It's known as a superfood because of all its health benefits. A study showed broccoli can decrease insulin resistance among type 2 diabetics. One cup of broccoli has just 6 grams of carbs, with 2 grams of that being fiber. Broccoli also provides over 100% of your body's vitamin C and K needs. Number 3. Asparagus Asparagus can help stop the growth of certain cancer cells. Research has proven asparagus to be helpful in reducing anxiety and protecting your brain. A cup of cooked asparagus weighing 180 grams comes with just 8 grams of carbs, with half of that being fiber. Asparagus is also a rich source of vitamins A, C, and K. Number 4. Mushrooms Mushrooms are a great source of low-carb foods. A cup of raw mushrooms weighing 70 grams adds only 2 grams of carbs to your body, 1 gram of which is fiber. Mushrooms are not only low in carbs, they also prevent inflammation. Studies have shown eating 100 grams of white mushrooms every day for 16 weeks improved their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory markers. Number 5. Zucchini Zucchini is one of the most popular types of summer squash. They have lower carbs compared to winter squash. A cup of raw zucchini weighing 124 grams has only 4 grams of carbs. Of that, 1 gram contains fiber. Zucchini is also rich in vitamin C and gives 35% of what your body needs every day. Number 6. Spinach Spinach is a popular leafy vegetable that comes packed with nutrients and health benefits. Research has shown that eating spinach can help you avoid damage to your DNA. It also aids in reducing the risk of cataracts in your eyes. Spinach is actually low in carbs, but can become concentrated when the volume of the leaves contracts when cooked. One cup of cooked spinach weighing 180 grams has just 7 grams of carbs, with more than half containing fiber. The same amount of spinach also gives your body more than 10 times the vitamin K it needs on a daily basis. Number 7. Avocados Here's another superfood that's only becoming more popular. It's high in fat and digestible carbs as well. A cup of chopped avocados weighing 150 grams only has 13 grams of carbs. As much as 10 grams of that is made up of fiber. Additionally, avocados are packed with oleic acid. Studies have shown that eating avocados also helps reduce your cholesterol levels. They're also rich in vitamin C and potassium. Number 8. Cauliflower Cauliflower is another cruciferous veggie that's low in carbs. It's also known to help the prevention of cancer, as well as reduce your chances of heart disease. One cup of raw cauliflower weighing 100 grams gives you only 5 grams of carbs, and 3 of them are fiber. It's also rich in vitamin K, while giving your body 77% of the vitamin C it needs each day. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn more about the 7 natural ways to boost your immunity. Number 9. Green Beans Green beans are part of the legume family, along with lentils. The advantage with green beans is that they have very few carbs compared to other legumes. One cup of cooked green beans weighing 125 grams holds only 10 grams of carbs, with four being fiber. They're also rich in chlorophyll. Studies have shown chlorophyll can help prevent cancer cells from spreading. Number 10. Lettuce There are different types of lettuce, but nearly all of them are rich in nutrients. Romaine and other types of dark green lettuce are packed with vitamins A, C, and K. They're also rich in folate, which helps reduce a specific compound known to increase your risk of heart disease. Experts say eating food high in folate for 5 weeks decreased the level of the compound by 13%. 
Lettuce is also a low-carb food. One cup weighing about 47 grams has just two grams of carbs, half of which is fiber. Number 11, garlic. Garlic is a popular food that strengthens your immune system. Various studies have shown that garlic not only reduces the chances of getting the common cold, but also decreases your blood pressure. Although garlic is high in carbs, you only consume very little due to its pungent taste and smell. One clove of garlic, which typically weighs three grams, has as much as one gram of carbs. Number 12, kale. Kale is another nutrient-rich vegetable that's only getting more popular. It's also part of the cruciferous vegetable family. Kale has specific antioxidants that are proven to reduce your blood pressure levels and protect you against heart disease. Kale also comes with the benefit of low carbs. One raw cup weighing 67 grams has only seven grams of carbs, with one gram being fiber. The same amount of kale provides three times the vitamin A your body needs each day and more than twice the amount of vitamin C. Number 13, cucumbers. Cucumbers are not only refreshing to eat, they're also low in carbs. One cup of cucumber weighing 104 grams gives out only four grams of carbs and about one gram of that is fiber. While cucumbers don't have the same vitamins and minerals that other vegetables do, they have an important compound called cucubertacin E. Research has shown this compound can help increase your anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. Number 14, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are also a member of the cruciferous vegetable family. They come with a number of health benefits. Studies have shown eating Brussels sprouts on a regular basis will reduce the chances of colon cancer. They're also low in carbs with half a cup of Brussels sprouts weighing 78 grams, providing just six grams of carbs. A third of those carbs are in the form of fiber. Number 15, celery. Celery is another green leafy vegetable that comes with a lower number of carbs. A cup of chopped celery weighing about 101 grams gives only three grams of carbohydrates. Two of those three grams come in fiber. Celery also has an antioxidant named lutein, which research has shown can not only help prevent cancer, but can also help treat the disease. Number 16, tomatoes. Tomatoes are so good. You can eat them on their own like a fruit. Wait a minute, tomatoes are a fruit, right? But just like avocados, they're eaten as veggies. Tomatoes are low in digestible carbs. A cup of cherry tomatoes weighing around 150 grams gives you six grams of carbs. Of this, two grams come from fiber. Tomatoes are particularly good for your heart, thanks to their vitamin K and potassium. Potassium decreases your risk of getting a stroke by reducing your blood pressure. Not just this, tomatoes have compounds that strengthen your arteries and even help prevent prostate cancer. Number 17, radishes. Radishes have a sharp, peppery taste that makes them a unique addition to your salads, but that's not the only reason you should be eating radishes. One cup of raw radishes, weighing about 116 grams, gives you four grams of carbs, out of which two are fiber. Radishes have been found to reduce the risk of breast cancer in postmenopausal women. They do that by changing the way the body metabolizes estrogen. Veggies are great for your health, but are you sure you're cooking them the right way? Did you know there are healthy veggies you should be eating and ones you shouldn't? Here's what you need to know. Check out eight healthy vegetables you should be eating and eight you shouldn't. You can also try 12 ways you're cooking your vegetables wrong. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how to become healthier. Do you like eating any of these veggies? Let us know in the comments below.